Check out FlipsideGaming.com for all your gaming needs. Use the promo code HEROES to save 10% on all orders over $10. From March 1st through March 31st, 2020, if you use this promo code, you will automatically be entered into a drawing to win a WPN Mystery Booster box. Also, there's another way to enter where no purchase is necessary. See the link in the description below for full details. Hey there, this is John from Heroes and Legends, and welcome to a big day of previews. We're going to talk about the 121 foil cards that you might be able to find in packs of mystery boosters when they come out March 13th in stores. As you may know, convention boosters had the playtest cards in them, which were a lot of fun and pretty cool. But when this product goes to stores, instead of getting those playtest cards, every time you crack a pack, you're going to get a foil. And it's going to be from this list of 121 cards that we're going to go through today. Quickly though, before we get started, just a fast reminder, you can go to FlipSideGaming.com and use that Heroes promo code to save 10% on orders over $10. And if you're interested in picking up a Mystery Booster box, you can do so there. When you use the Heroes promo code, it comes to $99, which is a very good price. They also now have Ikoria Booster Boxes up there for pre-order as well. And whenever you use the promo code, it does support the channel, which is always appreciated. So thank you, and without any further ado, let's get into it. All right, so there's a lot of cards here, obviously, 121. I'm going to go through relatively quickly. For the most part, when it comes to value, I'll say this. There's a fair amount of value packed in here. It feels like they targeted a lot of cards that maybe were only printed in foil once or twice or haven't been printed in foil for a long time. This is going to be great for Commander players especially. You'll see that as we go through. I won't call out prices for all the cards. There's a lot of them here that fall in between like the 3 to $10 mark. But I'll try to call out the past foil pricing for some of the important ones. Also, you're going to notice the cards that you're going to see on the screen are not the actual new copies of the cards with a special logo in the bottom left corner. They didn't show us what the new cards look like, so I had to pull the older images. So first off is Not of This World, a colorless card, so we're going to go in color pie order. Next is Celestial Dawn, and what's kind of cool is some of the cards from Time Spiral are here, and they do have the old border and foil, which is actually really nostalgic. Celestial Kieran is here. Changeling Hero. Council Guardian, Idolin of Rhetoric, Isamaru Hound of Kanda. This is a pretty nice one. If you wanted to get the foil from Champions of Kamigawa, those will run you about $31 or so. Lapse of Certainty, this is from Conflux, so they're going back with that one. Future Sight card here with Luma Thread Field. Norin's Annex, this is not a cheap foil, believe it or not. This will run you about $13 or so. Proclamation of Rebirth, another card that's not too cheap in foil. These are running like $11 to $12 for the foil copy that exists today. Pull from Eternities in here. Runetail Kitsune Ascendant. If you want the original foil for this one, it's going to cost you about $45 or so. Another pretty expensive one. Sinew Sliver, good popper card here. Soul's Attendant. Spell Tithe Enforcer. Springjack Shepherd. Wall of Shards. The Cold Snap Foil costs about $14. And White Knight. Alright, let's move on to Blue. Blighted Agent is here. Delay. This is another one that's not cheap in Foil. About $40 or so for the Future Sight one. Fate Spinner is here too. About a $14, $15 Foil. Frozen Ether. Grand Architect. Another one that's not cheap. Usually around $11 or $12 in Foil. Intruder Alarm. Now, this really is not a cheap foil. If you want that 8th edition copy of the card in foil, you're going to be paying almost $70 now. Mist Hollow Griffin is here. Paradox Haze. Patron of the Moon. Puka's Mischief. Another Future Sight card here with Spell Weaver Volute. Stormcrow is here. So if you open a Mystery Booster Pack, you have a 1 in 121 chance of opening a foil Stormcrow. How about that? Now, when it comes to the pricing for the older foils, the 8th edition and 9th edition copies weren't all that much, like 3 to $4. But the 7th edition copy of this is actually around 19 or 20 basically because 7th edition foils are just crazy. Xur's Weirding is here. We'll move on to Black with Bringer of the Black Dawn. Chimney Imp. Conspiracy is here. That's going to look cool in foil. The Mercadian Mass copy in foil is about $18, $19. The Time Spiral around $15. Echoing Decay. Funeral Charm. That foil is about $11 from Time Spiral. Herald of Lashrak. Very sweet cold snap card, actually. 
Foils will run you about 15. Marinar. This was recently reprinted in Secret Layers, of course. You can get the Secret Layer foil copy for about $14, $15. The Champions of Kamigawa one, though, is still around $44. Next is Nazumi Short Fang. One with nothing. I know this card is kind of a meme sometimes, but you know what? If you want the foil copy, it does run you close to $19. Ravenous Trap. Rescue from the Underworld. Undead War Chief. This one's kind of cool. The Scourge Foil is usually around $10, $11. Time Spiral around $11 or $12. Another good inclusion here. Viscera Seer. And we'll move on to Red with Balduvian Rage. Braid of Fire. This is a pretty pricey foil. About $40 now. Burning Inquiry. Fiery Gambit. Flameken Harbinger, another foil that's not cheap, around $15, $16 for this one. Form of the Dragon. Goblin Bushwhacker. Gorilla Tactics. Lightning Storm. Norin the Wary, this is a foil that could cost you about $22 or so. Ogre Gatecrasher is here. Pyretic Ritual. Scourge of the Throne. This is a big one. This card's been going up a lot recently. The foil from Conspiracy is actually up to close to $80 now. So this would be a really nice pull if you open it. Stigma Lasher. This is another one that is not too cheap. Around $16, $17 for the foil currently from Eventide. Treasonous Ogre. Allosaurus Rider as we move into green. This one's kind of interesting. The pre-release foil is not too expensive compared to the regular Cold Snap foil. The pre-release one is about six, seven dollars. The cold snap about seventeen, eighteen. Archetype of endurance. Boreal druid. Boundless realms. Bramblewood paragon. Fungasaur. That's an old classic. Game trail changeling. Gleeful sabotage is here. Greater moss dog. Helix pinnacle. Wow. From Eventide, if you want a foil copy of this from that set, it's going to be over $50, usually close to $52. Hornet Sting. Mana Weft Sliver. Of course, Morrow had to be here. Myogen of Life's Web. This is another kind of expensive foil, usually around $22, $23. Panglacial Worm. Reki, the History of Kamigawa. This foil will cost you about $37, $38. Rocks, Sakura Tribe Scout, Scrib Ranger, Sheltering Ancient, here's one for Snake or Warrior Tribal fans, Sosuke, Son of Sashiro, Spike Feeder is here, one split card with a popular one, Wear Tear, Balefire Liege as we move into some hybrid cards, this got popular last year. Foils are up to about $32 for this. Gilder Baron. Now, this is an uncommon from Eventide, but even so, the foil is going to run you about $16. Kulrath Knight. Noggle Bandit. Got some gold cards now with Aurelia's Fury. Drog Skull Captain. Good card for Spirits fans. Glittering Wish. This is a nice one. I can't believe this card has never been reprinted from Future Sight. That foil is going to cost you $21, $22 now. Harmonic Sliver, another card that hasn't been reprinted from Time Spiral. Actually, a lot of cards in here are getting their first reprints. This one is about $15 or $16 in foil. Karthus Tyrant of Jund, another expensive foil here, about $46, $47. Maelstrom Nexus, another expensive foil. This will be about $25, $26. Mind Funeral. Reaper King. Now, this was recently reprinted in a secret layer. You can find that foil for about $9. The Shadowmore one, though, is still about $65. Still very expensive. We got a Planeswalker here with Sarkhan the Mad. This foil is about $18, $19. Send Triplets. This one's huge. Obviously, if you watch the market watches, you know this card has been hot for a very long time now. This is the first reprinting we've seen of the card, and the foil copy from that original printing is about $174, $175 now. This will be a highly sought-after card for a lot of Commander players. Yortiller Nephilim. This is one of the four-color cards from Guild Pact. 
On to artifacts with a big one here, Amulet of Vigor. Of course, a lot of modern players might want this one. If you want to grab the foil that exists out there, it's going to run you about $51, $52 right now. Blasting Station, another card that has a pretty expensive foil, about $19 or $20. Here's Codex Shredder. Geth's Grimoire. Iron Mirror. Knowledge Pool, this is about a $10 foil. Lantern of Insight. Leveler. Lich's Mirror. Mage Rite Stone. Mem Knight. Mind Slaver, this is a pretty sweet one. The Meriden foils are about $19. The Scars of Meriden about $13.14. Pilly Pala. Sundial of the Infinite. This is actually kind of sweet, too. These foils are usually around $14. The Fairy's Puzzle Box, another card that got hot last year for a little while. Foils are still expensive. Now, if you want the 8th or 9th edition foil, those are usually like $61, $62. The 7th edition foil, over $200, usually closer to $212. That's just, again, because 7th edition foils are crazy. Trailblazer's Boots. Triskelion. Witchbane Orb. On to lands with the Alchemist's Refuge. This is actually a $14, $15 foil. Manamo, School at Water's Edge. This is another big one. If you want the foil from Champions of Kamigawa, about $91, $92 right now. Mirrodin's Core. Another card that's been popular recently, Shizo Death Storehouse. If you want that original Champions of Kamigawa foil, about $46, $47 is what you'll have to pay. And the last one, Stalking Stones. That is quite a list to take in here. A lot of value to be had. Yeah, there's some duds in there too, financially. But for the most part, if you crack a few packs, I think you're really going to come out ahead in most cases. Now, obviously, as more packs get cracked, the values will go down a little bit, I have no doubt. And the new copies will not start at the same price point older copies are at in most cases. But still, I really can't complain about the value you're getting when it comes to the foils that are here. There's some really, really big hits if you're lucky. Remember, when it comes to odds, this isn't like a normal magic set where you have your rares and uncommons and so on and so forth. The odds of hitting any of these cards is 1 in 121. So every time you open a pack, you have a 1 in 121 chance of getting a particular card. That can be a pretty tough pull, so just keep that in mind. Well, that does it for today. Hopefully this video did help you out a little bit. Until next time, though, hey, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, and have a great day. Hey, thanks for watching. This video is made possible through the generous support of viewers like you on Patreon. Check out the description below for links to our Patreon page as well as our Amazon affiliate store where a small percentage of all sales will also help support the channel. Finally, if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the new videos on Heroes and Legends. Talk to you again soon and have a great day.